Hello and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for being here. Really do appreciate you checking us out here. Uh, if this is your first time um, coming to the channel, living in North Atlanta, please make sure you do us a favor, hit that subscribe button as well as tap the bell for the notifications so that you don't miss a single thing about living here in North Atlanta. We're gonna get right into the video right now. Today we're talking about the top 10 things that you need to know before you move to Atlanta, Georgia. All right, so the very first thing you need to know is that there's a super laid back culture here. The Southern hospitality uh, really just kind of lives and breathes here in the Atlanta area and, and Georgia really all over. So people are super laid back here. Things happen a little bit slower in the South, but I will say within the city, it is business as usual. And, and things do happen very, very quickly. Obviously we have a now a huge technology hub down in um, you know the Buckhead Midtown area. Um, and uh, we're really attracting a lot more technology, which is definitely speeding things up here. Uh, but from a cultural standpoint, uh, we are definitely very, very laid back. Number two, uh, Atlanta's huge. A lot of people don't realize just how big the Atlanta area is. It actually stretches 50 miles east to west and then 50 miles north to south and includes about a 14 county area. So uh, geographically speaking, it is massive. And we've talked about this in other videos, but number three, is ITP versus OTP. ITP, of course, inside the perimeter. So 285 is a big circle around the city, OTP being outside the perimeter. And again, you know, no matter what type of lifestyle you're looking for, you can really get really whatever you want inside or outside the perimeter. Certainly, you know, as far as the cultural offerings um, inside the perimeter is a lot more prevalent, if you will. So you have a lot more of the history museums and um, cultural significance of, uh, of items and, and places to visit in the city. Um, but that definitely is something that we've talked about before on this channel. So again, if you're looking inside the perimeter, inside 285, and again, not a perfect circle, but you get the idea. And then outside uh, the perimeter are OTP, um, including North Atlanta here. So Sandy Springs, Roswell, Alpharetta to the north, uh, Dunwoody, Doraville, Brookhaven, kind of just there uh, out to the east, and then Smyrna Vinings up to Kennesaw, Marietta, and Ackworth beyond. Uh, the fourth thing that you need to know before you move to Atlanta is it truly is a foodie heaven, and it's not just southern food. Um, you know, Atlanta with the airport here has become a centric hub for a lot of different cultures, and we have an amazing array of restaurants and of independently owned restaurants. Um, the chains really are disappearing now. It's it's kind of crazy to see, you know, the transformation, especially over the last couple of years as, um, you know, the shift kind of happened uh, in the marketplace here, but a lot more independent restaurants, a lot more independent chefs going out and creating unbelievable food havens. Um, and so we have our fair share. It's not all fried chicken here. Uh, the number five thing that you need to know here before you move to Atlanta, is that there is a ton of outdoor recreation. So you've got the Chattahoochee River that runs kind of, you know, north to south. Um, you've got walking trails and of course the mountains and running trails and a lot more multi-purpose trails than we've ever had before and more in development, not just inside the city or inside the perimeter, but certainly well outside the city as well. Um, and so that's one of the things that I think really attracts a ton of people to Atlanta is the ability to get outside um, you know, during the summer, yes, it's hot, but uh, if you like to be outside and if you enjoy, um, you know, outdoor activities, definitely um, something that, that we like to highlight before people move here. The number six thing uh, is the entertainment industry. So a lot of people don't know or have heard that uh, Atlanta is the Hollywood of the South. And so a ton of independent studios as well as major like Netflix and major studios have moved um, complete total operations to the Atlanta area, most of it along the south side of the city. Um, but we do have just around the corner from Sandy Springs here, we do have a new development that's going up in the coming years, right on the edge of Doraville, Norcross and Dunwoody there. Um, that's going to be a massive studio. And uh, it's going to attract a ton of new talent here. But also uh, the support staff um, will also, um, you know, find some great opportunity there as well. The seventh uh, thing here that you need to know before you move to Atlanta, there is always a festival to attend. Even in the dead of winter, there are festivals literally all over the city. So we have Dragon Con, we have the Atlanta Jazz Festival, we have Music Midtown, one of the biggest and probably one of the best uh, Southeast events here in the United States. 
and totally underrated. And it brings anywhere from like, I think the numbers are like 300 to 500,000 people in for that one single weekend. Um, absolutely worth attending. And then of course we have um, other, you know, park festivals and music festivals that kind of come along. But back to the food, we always can find a way to celebrate food. And in fact, here in Sandy Springs, we have an event called Food That Rocks that generally is in the September to October timeframe. It kind of depends on the weather, but it's always gorgeous. It never fails. And uh, about 50 local restaurants come out to the City Springs area and you get to kind of taste you know their signature dishes and stuff but it's you know 75 to 100 bucks but you get all you can drink all you can eat uh, they've got live music and stuff like that it's just a really cool way and you can find those literally all over north atlanta uh, the eighth thing and this one's starting to kind of push its way out but uh, the eighth thing that I'd like to mention here is the affordable cost of living. And so relatively speaking to the rest of the country, uh, we are still pretty affordable here. So the average cost to live uh, monthly here in Atlanta is about $2,000. Now, again, that's an average. So if you go out to like Alpharetta or beyond, uh, that number comes down pretty significantly to like an average of twelve dollars to 1500 But mostly in the metro Atlanta area here, you're looking at about $2,000 per month. So whether that's rent, a mortgage, all your utilities and bills and stuff, um, and of course, you know, now with gas on the rise, I'm sure that number is going to go up. But as uh, as more and more people move to the Atlanta area, that's becoming, you know, quite a challenge. That number is definitely going up. And I wouldn't be surprised that, you know, by the end of 2022, it's twenty five hundred or maybe even three thousand dollars a month for the average kind of cost of living. So, you know, the average income here is about eighty to one hundred thousand uh, dollars as an individual uh, filing. So. Um, but that dollar goes a really, really long way. Not as far as it used to, but certainly, um, you know, uh, comparatively speaking, a lot further than a lot of places uh, in around the country. So uh, the ninth thing that I'd like to mention is that you can definitely hang out at like a brewery or a distillery. We have a ton of great local breweries. Several years back, um, the state of Georgia le legislature, um, you know, opened up opportunity for small breweries as well as distilleries to come in and be able to, you know, make their, um, their adult beverages, if you will. And that really opened up a whole different world of commerce, um, not just from beverage making, but certainly from event spaces. You can now host events, you know, weddings and stuff at these different places. Um, and of course, if you head further north uh, into like North Georgia, the uh, agritourism is unbelievable. There are a dozen or more uh, wineries that kind of wind all along Dahlonega and Dawsonville, um, you know, within an hour of Sandy Springs and, and the Roswell area. So definitely something that, uh, that draws a ton of people in. And then, of course, the number 10 uh, thing that you need to know about uh, moving to Atlanta here uh, is that Coca-Cola is the choice, <laughs> the soft drink of choice here. Uh, we won't mention the other one, but definitely uh, as the birthplace of Coca-Cola um, and, and wide distribution network throughout the entire world now. Um, you know, you can go down and visit the world of Coca-Cola. It's actually really quite interesting to hear how that brand has progressed. Um, but uh, if you go to a local restaurant, you're asking for Coca-Cola. You're not asking for a soft drink. <laughs> so anyway, that's hopefully uh, helpful for you to know before you move to the Atlanta area. If you ever have any questions or if you live here in Atlanta and I missed something, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what I missed. What should other people know about before they knew they moved to Atlanta? And uh, what did what would you have liked to have known before you moved to Atlanta? I'd love to hear that as well. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching the video. If there's ever anything we can do for you, as always, our contact is down in the listing uh, description here or in the video description. And you can always schedule a Zoom call as well. If you're making a move to Atlanta and you've watched this video, um, by all means, you know, we get calls every single day, you know, from, from YouTube here and from people watching these videos. And we love to, to help people out and make their transition here to the Atlanta area as smooth as possible. So in fact, that was probably another one. So anyway, but I appreciate you guys watching. If you ever have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, or you can call, text, or email as well as schedule a Zoom call. And uh, hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.